Well, welcome to Music in the Afternoon, and our special thanks to Reverend Cho and to Joyce Carr for inviting us to come back here. <laughs> Having assaulted this church once before with the sound of our slightly irreverent music, we particularly appreciate your open-mindedness in welcoming into their fold this music of classic American popular song. Uh, Ragtime is about as American as you can get, because it's unique to the United States. And believe me, it was not performed in churches when it was first introduced. Uh, rather different environments, uh, dare I say sporting house, and red light districts were the venue of early ragtime. And in Philadelphia, believe it or not, in good old Philadelphia, the red light district stretched for 22 blocks from Delaware Avenue to 22nd Street and from Market to Spring Garden, because Philadelphia was a port, and there was an active port in those days, with lots and lots of sailors roaming loose and lots of people to provide pleasure for them. And in the, um, in the parlors of these sporting houses would be pianos, and almost invariably the people playing them would be African Americans. So that the music came to be associated with, shall we say, the wrong side of the railroad tracks of society. And so it was condemned by our union, the American Federation of Musicians, who declared that it would be, it lead to the corruption, the moral corruption of the player. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't stopped me around yet. <laughs> well, of course, it's absolutely we know and now realize that the music has a purity of spirit. In fact, uh, Joplin is now today compared to Franz Schubert because of his beautiful, uh, the beautiful harmonic sequences in his music. And <clears throat> this is to be found in this next rag piece by Scott Joplin, written late in his career. He saw uh, Iraq time as African Americans uh, classical music. And with that in mind, he gave this rag the subtitle Syncopations Classique. I guess if you say it in French, it makes it classic. So uh, the name he gave the rag itself was the Magnetic Rag. So I hope I don't magnetize you too much with my rendition of this marvelous piece by Joplin, written very late in his career, really on the eve of America's entrance into the First World War and toward the twilight of the age of ragtime. Scott Joplin's Magnetic Rag. <laughs> 